That's seriously it? There's no... What? That's lame. What happened to the, the big dramatic openings? Nothing? So lame. What's up, everyone? How you doing? I hope that's not a sign. Maybe after the key press? Nope. Because I was already in here making a file to make it full screen. Oh. Okay, I guess I'm new game. No, I don't want to load from the thing. We're using English voices. New game, let's go. Logic difficulty. Normal beyond this point, kind, safe, and sound. Ooh. What do you guys think? Paste. What do you think? Should I just do normal or mean? Because I did... I did the chapter of the last game on mean. And not gonna lie, that was kind of rough. Mean Gene. Maki is best girl, just saying. <laughs> it's not helping! Harsher penalty is more choices, but more wards. Yeah, whatever. We can always... Go, right? Mean logic, normal action? I can go with that. Oh, here we go. Wait, what? Is this a, is this an ad for all the other games or is this actually the opening? Plus I thought that this game had nothing to do with the previous games. It was its own universe. Team Dongan Grampa. From Dr. Despair. That's it, that's the whole title. <laughs> Alright then, here we go. Nothing. No light, no sound, no form, no voice. Oh, I guess we can just go then. No knowledge of who I am. Hey, me too. Who am I? Who am I? I extend a hand. A hand that belongs to no one. To take hold of my existence. Oh, God. And there you have it! She And there you have it! She came out of the closet! Everyone give her a round of applause. I already forgot it. I just remembered who I am. Nice to meet me. I'm the protagonist of this crazy story. And also needs to have better voice volume. How can I fix that? Oh, great. Oh, sweet! I can replay him. I'm the protagonist of this crazy story. Wait, could I do that before? Hmm. Ultimate Revival. Alright then.
I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I saw a 2D barbed wire. I fell on the floor. I couldn't even brace for an impact as blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. It Ow! But thanks to that pain, I went from dazed to annoyed real quick. Huh? Wait, where am I? What is this place? I've rubbed my throbbing forehead. Yep, this is definitely gonna leave a bump. I looked around. A classroom? Yeah, this is a classroom, all right, but I don't recognize it. Where am I? What am I doing here? I can't believe by default the voice is so much quieter than the music. Yep, I'm a grill. It happened. I better go cook burgers because I'm a grill. And cook some steaks. Uh. Oh, is, is this a dream? I just had to pinch myself, right? So I pinched my cheek, and it's apparently made of rubber. All it did was make my head hurt in two places instead of one. Um. Okay, hold on a sec. Let's just stay calm and think this through. We need to stay calm. And put a bun up here. Confused I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here. But no matter how hard I tried, in the end... I just couldn't. Yeah, even the sound effects are louder than the voice. Wow. What great design by default. Suddenly the locker next next to mine sh swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise. I fearfully turned around. The locker door slowly opened and... A boy came stumbling out. He's mine now. A normal boy dressed in a school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student too. That's a high school uniform. I want to know why we're in the school of darkness. He looked bewildered, and when he slowly lifted his head... He screamed as if he'd just seen a monster. <laughs> he'd just seen a monster, fell on his butt, and scooted back. Who are you? Are you with those other guys? Huh? What other guys? The people who kidnapped me! Um... Kidnapped? Wait! Where am I? What were you doing next to me? Hey! Hey, hold on! I firmly gra grabbed his shoulders and shook him like he was a can of soda. You know? What's your name? Huh? Uh, um... Oh come on! I'm Suichi Sahara, which I brutally mispronounced because there's no way on earth I'd know how to pronounce that, unless I were in fact Japanese. Yeah. I'm. I already forgot how to pronounce that. Kaede Akamat Akamatsu. Now listen to me, Suichi. Got it? Shut up! <laughs> You're not the only one who's confused right now. Huh? Uh, sorry. You're making them shut up. I retraced my steps again, and then pointed a finger up like this, to see if I could tell which way the wind was blowing. That's right. I was kidnapped too. I can't believe I forgot that. Silly me. I was walking my usual route to school when all of a sudden someone shoved me into a car. Oops. I hate it when that happens. I shouted for help, but no one came to rescue me. Yeah, it's okay. It wasn't needed anyway. Everyone pretended like nothing happened. It made me think how rotten the world is. Oh my god, you have no idea. And then, I lost consciousness. That's right. When I woke up, I was inside that locker. Man, them nude kidnappers. Same with me. Were you kidnapped by the same people? No, by different people. Uh, it seems like it. Geez. But why me? My family's not rich. I'm no one special. I'm just a normal high school girl. 
There's no reason to kidnap me. Uh, okay. Me either. I'm just a regular guy who's wearing his hat wrong. And this is a school, right? Why'd they take us to a school? And why is there 2D barbed wire on the window? Um. I wonder why. Hey there, I'm sure you're, you're con confused right now. You're thinking, where am I? Well, I can't explain that, but I can give you a basic explanation about the controls. Yeah, 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 yeah,
I have the hallway monitor. I don't like these hallway enforcers. Uh, what are those things? Oh, hi there. Bye. Oh man, Lutz, who did that? Be ready for this ad to interrupt everything. <laughs> Thank you, Aoshaw, for the Lutz. I need to actually have that thing open. Seems like a thing I should do. As we frantically, <laughs> as we frantically dro dove towards the door, we saw something we never expected to see. People have arrived. Ah, oh, it's the rest of the cast. Must. Punt. Midget. And also punch Phoenix right over there. Huh? Did you all get chased by that monster too? No, it was just me. The rest of you don't matter. Uh, oh, yeah. What are they? What do they want with us? Oh, Gundam, what did they do to you? Why did they shoot you full of tranquilizer? Do you want me to check on what's happening? You can't! It's too dangerous out there! You're too dangerous out there! It's likely that monster still lurks nearby. Wait! I shout at the top of my lungs. Who are you guys? And why am I here? Because you ran. You ran so far away. And that makes 16. What? I'm talking about us. There are 16 of us. All high schoolers. No, there's 15 high schoolers and that guy over there who is either 8 or a 40-year-old mobster. One of the two. I'm not sure. You need to talk to me, shorty, over there. Probably 40-year-old mobster. What do you think that means? It means we need to pump the mobster. 16 high schoolers. Oh. Oh, right. Didn't answer your question. My name is Rantaro Omami. I'm just going to keep hitting buttons until you give me the ability to up the volume. Oh, great. I took a screenshot. God damn it. This group looks dull in comparison to the previous games. They do a bit. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's leave it at that for now. What? Um, okay. You know... Anyway, why does it matter if there are 16 of us? There might be more coming. Nah, I think this is all of us. If this is what I think it is, anyway. What? If this is what you think it is? Hey! Alright, I'm already gonna hate that guy. I'm already getting Nagito vibes from that guy. Like he's seen the script. What's up? What are you, some kind of, some kind of fucking know-it-all? If you know something, spit it out! At that moment, an unknown voice suddenly echoed throughout the gym. Okie dokie! Okay! Quiet, everyone! Sit me down, sit me down! Hmm. No, 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 it's simmer down! What? Huh? Who's that? Where are they? Thanks for bearing with us! Are 
Are you serious? Damn it, there are more monsters! We're surrounded! Ah. These aren't monsters! They're existals! And that's that. They're highly mobile bipedal we weapon platforms. What? Weapons? Hell yeah! We should take these for a spin by killing one of them! Right. We should at least think of an interesting way to kill you. Maybe I'll pick you up and squeeze you till your guts come gushing out like toothpaste. Damn. Wait. Please, not like toothpaste. Please, like anything else, but not toothpaste. Okay. I just can't imagine. Just imagine that I can't handle gore. Toothpaste is the worst. And what if we start by peeling off their limbs one by one like string cheese? <laughs> no, like string cheese! So <laughs> that face, what is that face? Oh my god, that face. I might have to take off the on-screen chat, just cause... yeah. Wait, we can't kill them with Extels! According to the schedule, the Extels aren't, aren't supposed to show up till later! But we're in the Existels now. So we are! Hmm. We screwed up! We're not so supposed to be in the Existels for our first appearance! I told you we should have read the script. What are you saying? No, you didn't. Well, why don't we get out of these backs? It shouldn't be too late for that. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. So. Okay, ready? the music I can't I still can't the fucking game won't let me get the options amazing adventure see we're out of the existals now we're not scared anymore right 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 this desperation is strangely terrifying I was not ready for a female monokuma please kill me You punk asses better repent. <laughs> I don't even know what voice to give them yet. Right now, the threshold of an amazing adventure. He's just outright terrifying. That's right. I'm a messenger from hell, from hell, from the depths of hell, here to drain you down to hell. Hey. Oh no, Mono Kid, you're saying hell too much. That's really the hellish impact. Hey. What's hellish mean? Hey, what's up with these stuffed animals? How are they moving? The threshold of an amazing adventure. I have no idea. Moving stuffed animals? Yeah. On top of that, seems like they call themselves the Mono Cubs. Moving stuffed animals? Mono Cubs? Huh? Wait, you guys call yourselves the Mono Cubs? Father asking Mono Dom. Right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. Is that Gundam in the background? Who 
only talks to close friends. The years of abuse have really done a number on his heart. Isn't that right, Monodom? Monodom, you only open your heart to me? It looks like I was right. This is exactly what I thought it was. But who is behind all this? Why the ridiculous theatrics? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up, you! You're on the threshold of your All of you reacting in way too much no reacting all too normally to this. It's boring. Wait, what? Two. Can I do this the whole time? He is all that remains of a once powerful Yoshi. I have I had this thing just by right. What if I do this? You're on the threshold That's wrong. of an amazing adventure, Yoshi. You don't want to do Oh, that's Okay then, that's weird. I don't know why that's a thing. It doesn't seem to do anything. Actually, don't their clothes seem kind of boring too? Wait a minute. You think maybe they haven't been given their first memory yet? Huh? That should have happened before they woke up. Answer my question. If you guys are the Mono Cubs, then who the hell are you? Who the hell are you, punks? We're just wondering, do you guys have ultimate talents or anything like that? Ultimate talents? No. I don't have one. I have a skill that I devote myself to, but I wouldn't call it an ultimate talent. Me either, I don't have anything like that. Yeah, same here. Told you so! I knew it! They haven't gotten their first memory yet! Hey! Mana Fane, weren't you in charge of that? She's sleeping? Did she seem really tired to you guys? I just want to go through this. She's obviously faking it. Who she's faking? She looks so peaceful. Let's whisper so we don't wake her up. If you say so. If you guys really are the mono cubs, then don't worry about us. The real issue is you bastards. Oh, if she was putting it mildly, this is actually a huge problem. You all for have forgotten your talents and becoming gener and become generic high school students. Huh? Forgotten? See, according to the backstory, there's this ultimate hunt going on. You all lost your enemies to become different people because of the ultimate hunt. You're on the threshold of an amazing adventure, What are you talking about? Well, in your current state, this pretty much is pointless to talk about you talk to you guys about this. First thing you need to do is we need to do the first thing we need you guys to do is remember your true selves. Right. Yeah, I need you to reclaim your sealed talents by regaining your memories. That you're awake already? Why? I don't get it. What are these sealed talents you're talking about? How are we supposed to talk when you keep asking so many freaking questions? The less I see a mono fanny, the better. This is getting, ugh, just unsettling. You were not some swift-footed singer who's la landed another future ex-boyfriend. Let's do this already. No one wants to watch a bunch of generic high school whiners. First, look at your wardrobe so you guys look all cute and spiffy. Nope! I'm gone! You guys deal with this. Huh? 
I'm done yet? What am I wearing? I'm looking good. Now you look more like Ultimates. Huh? Ultimates? Really? So... Next up, the memory you, you've all been waiting for. Hell yeah! Get ready, once the seal's broken, you will be in the domain of the killing game! Killing game? Alright! Now then, after the flashback light helps you remember your amazing talents, this amazing story will begin for real this time! But <laughs> there we go. It's the it's the thirtieth month on the ninth. All right, let's actually keep it how it normally is. Ultimate Revival. Again. Are you fucking kidding me? Huh? Again? We're in the goddamn- <laughs> We're getting coming out of the closet again? Stumbled all the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. Again. I couldn't even brace for impact, but again. Ow. Again. I think that pain I went yeah. Huh? Where am I? I already did this. Rode my throbbing forehead. Again. Looked around. Again. A classroom. Again. How do I even... I can't even get out! I'm gonna have to force quit the game! Just to get to the... You know, I'm gonna do that. No, don't save screenshots. Alright, let me look at the configuration tool again. Okay, no, that's just... Explain the things again. Still disappointed we don't get a cool intro and whatnot. Or maybe that's later. Oh my god, that's painful. Why wouldn't you have this at the top? Wow, that's the quietest voice ever. I'm glad that that happened. Great, I'm glad that kicked out a full screen again. 
Oh my god, and it's not kicking back in. Oh, Jesus Christ. Movement Bob. Why <laughs> not Nocta? I'm glad that all reset. That was great. Not gonna lie, why not movement Jeff? Nobody likes movement Jeff. Not gonna lie, we're gonna be skipping through a lot of this. A classroom? Yeah, again! Yeah, it's a classroom, all right, but I don't recognize it again. Where am I? What am I doing here? I don't know, but we're here again. Uh. Pinch my cheek again. Yeah, I know. Make my. Bam! Another kid came out. Boy came stumbling out. Yep, whatever. Yeah. Jeez. Don't freak out me like I'm some kind of monster. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm sorry too. Okay, I just have no idea what's going on. But all the more reason we need, need to stay calm. Oh. Gen update number one by Eric. Yeah, okay. that's right. Try to remember that's. Try to imagine that sorrowful mel melody filling your head and soothing your- Oh my god, I'm- Crap. I'm supposed to be a music fish aficionado and I don't know anything! No! Rise and shine, Rise and shine, Help me! Punt it! Quick, punt it! Huh? A teddy bear? jeez! Uh, no, it's a monster! You can freak out about this! I don't think she was talking to you! That's so mean. You humans are calling... Are the real monsters for calling us monsters? Mm. Although, if we're monsters, we're at least pretty monsters. Right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. Okay. I agree. I'm g I'm glad I was born with these looks. I definitely won won the genetic lottery. Huh? What are they? Why are they talking? Aren't they just stuffed animals? Hey. We're not mono cubs. We're the stuffed animals. Nailed it first try. Hey, Psst. mono kid, you're saying your lines backwards. No stuffed animals. Us, the mono cubs. Them. 
We haven't even got past the prologue and already his guitar is broken. God, man. Jeez, it's even worse now. Um, uh, Mono Cubs? Uh, You've heard of us? Jeez. Uh, of course not! I've never seen walking, talking, stuffed animals! As soon as I said that, the Mono Cub thing started looking at each other and. Yay! It worked! I'm relieved! Phew! Had me worried for a second. Worry about us? I don't understand what's going on. You said two twice. Hold up. I need to actually get. I need to quickly fix something here. All right, there we go. One. Two. E is all that remains of a once powerful Yokai. Right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure, Yokai. All right, because I've been falling behind on the loots, let me just quickly catch up. Alright, read that one. Be ready for interrupting ads the whole thing. Maybe the game will work, work if you re reboot it again. Yeah, we already did. Already did. But yeah, that's all old. What time zone is this in? It must be Pacific. Alright, anyway, back to back to the game. Okay. Alright. Alright now, let's tackle on each issue one at a time. You're so damn reliable, Monotar. Oh my god, I just... I just realized that's a play on Naruto! Ah! God! Fuck! He's like a 6th grader helping out his 5th grader! Which means we should keep our, our expectations reasonable. Well, what's your question? Uh, I have loads of questions. For starters, where are we? This looks like a school. So. Okay, so this place is called Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Um. Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles? Hmm. Ultimate Academy? I've never heard of a school like that. That's right. Of course you haven't. This school was made for you 16 Cretans. Huh? 16? That's right. Yeah, there are 16 ultimates at this school. Huh? Huh? Ultimates? Well, well you know what ultimates are, right? One. The government scout scouts them through this program called the Ultimate Initiative. Actually, ultimate basically means you're par you're particularly progenist in a particular talent. Two. Basically, the Ultimate Initiative exists to cultivate talent throughout the country. Promising students are eligible to receive all kinds of special handouts. But, if they're promising students, wouldn't they not need special handouts? Doesn't make any sense. Um, like, free school tuition, voting privileges, eligibility to run for elected office. They even get grant money too, right? That's right. Students chosen by the Ultimate Initiative are known as Ultimates. Hell yeah! Hey, where'd you get another guitar? Hell yeah! Students who, who do anything for the honor to be chosen as to be chosen Ultimates. I don't need the explanation. I already know because I'm an Ultimate too. What? That means you you got to remember this time, so don't forget anymore. Aww. Yeah, forgetting your Ultimate talent is such a waste. Huh? What do you mean forgetting? Quit your yapping and get get started already. Huh? Get started with what? So. By exploring this academy, of course. Well. All right, that's two guitars so far that are broken. 
Also, you should introduce yourself to the other ultimates. Because you guys are going to do an activity la later. Got a rock hard ranger. That is the third guitar he has pulled out. Awesome! Then I've got, got a rager right now. Well then. So long, farewell. Shoot. Urge to kill. Rising. They left, but I have so many questions. Hey. This isn't a dream, right? Uh, no, but I wish it was. Anyway, we have to find a way out of here. But they said there are 16 ultimate students here. Does that mean he's one too? Reveal your secrets! Are you an ultimate student too? Uh, okay. Yeah, well then. I'm Shuichi Saihara. They call me the ultimate detective, but... I wear my detective hat wrong. Huh? You're a detective? That's amazing! I can't wait for you to spoon feed me everything later. Or find out that you're terrible. No. Uh, no, I don't have the credentials to call myself a detective yet. I just happened to solve a case that I came across, and now people call me that. No. Not that many people can just happen to solve a case. You should be more proud of that. Oh, yeah. My name is Kaede Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. Nice to meet you. Oh my god, our hero has a talent. That's a goddamn... F of course, the first female protagonist! The first female main character of the game of a Dog and Rampa game has an act has a real talent compared to Makoto, whose talent was being chosen at random, or Hajime, whose talent was being boring. Lame. That doesn't matter. Ultimate Pianist? Must resist obvious joke. Yeah. Well, no one calls me the Ultimate Pianist, just Piano Freak. Ever since I was a child, I would play the piano whenever I got bored. And when I was also a child, I had no nose! There were even times I played the piano so much that I would forget to eat and sleep. But thank God when I grew up, I grew a nose. Eventually, I won trophies from concerts, and people started praising me. Wait, she not have fingers as a child? That's how you got your ultimate title? And that's way more impressive than me. No, that's all I'm good for, really. I'm also good for growing noses. Thank God I did that. <sighs> but this is my first time meeting another ultimate student. Well, oh, ultimates are scattered all over the country. They're difficult to find. Um... Yeah, they also kill each other off quite frequently. It's hilarious. And so, there's 16 ultimate students gathered here now? Why is everyone here? Were we kidnapped? Hmm. If so, then is some organization out there trying to kidnap all the ultimates? Hey. Ah, uh, about that. I don't remember. Huh? You don't remember? Uh, um... I've been trying to remember it all, but I can't get a hold of those member berries. No matter how hard I try, I just can't find them. I have no idea how I got here. When I woke up, I was in that locker. I don't know how I got there. It's like that memory just fell out of my head. Uh, Same here! Huh? You know? I can't remember anything. Even though I'm trying so hard to remember. Uh. 
Was that the memory of how she how you lost your memories? Or the memory of her last haircut? Tune in more to find out. What happened? Are you okay? What's wrong? No. I'm fine. Just got a headache and all. Do you, do you have some aspirin? Or maybe something stronger, like morphine? But... It can't be a coincidence that we both don't remember what happened to us. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. It's pro probably not a big deal. Right? We're confused. We just need to relax is all. Oh. Oh, let's imagine Maurice's Ravel sonatine. That's... Is that music? I don't really know much about music. Hey, me too! I see. That's unfortunate. When we get out of here, I'll share it with you. Oh, right. But first, let's look for a way out. If there are other Ultimate students here, we should talk to them too. At least one of them ha has got to know something. You're right. Yeah, good idea. I obtained a friendship fragment! Good for me! You can leave a room by, by hitting the escape key or interacting with the door. Why'd they change the controls, though? Even though it's a hallway, there sure are a lot of plants growing around here. Even the air here is heavy. Oppressively heavy. As if forcing you to recall your fears, smothering you in anxiety. But is this just a school, right? What kind of school makes you feel like this? Hmm. Huh. What's the matter? Uh, um... I just felt something in the pocket of my uniform. I looked. Remember. I found this inside. Some corn of some sort of mini tablet computer? Uh. Maybe I have one too! I knew my backpack felt heavier. The word monopad is on it. My monopad is better! When did this get in my backpack? Hmm. My name is displayed when I booted it up. It's like a student handbook. I don't know what it could be used for, but I don't think we should throw it away. Let's just hold on to them for now. I agree. Congratulations, you can now use the monopad! And now you can adjust your volume! Press the... THE F KEY! WHAT?! The fucking F key?! card and map. Be sure to check it out. And if you got a sharp eye, you may have already noticed. Being close to your fellow students, your report card will be updated with content. Since you're now acquainted with Miss Saharu, who I already forgot how to pronounce properly, this information has already been added. I bet you've already no noticed you can level up by performing actions. Yeah, 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 whatever. What? Are you foot? It's not the F key. It's F1 like it's supposed to be. Oh my lord. You're trying to annoy me, game, aren't you? Likes piano keys, hates bicycles. Likes novels, dislikes gossip. Let me go back in the classroom for a second. Will it reward me again for doing this? Nope, only the chairs. Nope, never lied.
Oh, at least the... So wait, the, the commands are the same as before, but the, the tutorial is going to keep telling me differently? Oh, I can't do it out here. Wait a minute, this is the music room! Huh? Well, it won't open! But this room does look like it was made for me. Rising Shiner sign! Oh my god, kill me. Rising Shiner sign! Are they gonna say it twice every time? They're here again! Hey. What do you think this place is? Just all the fancy schmancy writing, it seems like a place for eggheads. Eh? Huh? This isn't an ultimate research lab? Are you stupid. Well, why would you tell them? We're trying to make it all dramatic. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? Ultimate research lab? We want you guys to keep honing your ultimate talents so we set up these rooms for you. This is the ultimate pianist job. Well, actually, most of them are still hidden, though. Um, By the way, the reason this research lab is still locked is uh, we're still setting everything up. We're sorry. We'll hustle when we get it all ready. Just wipe your asses and wait. The hell you saying? Mana Kid is such a dummy. Hey! What are you laughing at? Nope, that's the, what, third one now? Yeah, it's the third broken guitar. What are you laughing at? Oh, bully, bully you like a bull mo bully monodom. I miss Monokuma. Seems like a music room, but I guess it's an Ultimates lab. Hey. Do you think there are other rooms like this for everyone? Hmm. I wonder about that too. Anyway, I thought this was the music room. Oh, I really want to play the piano. Oh well. I can play the piano as much as I, as much as I want when I finally escape this place. Ah, I found the Eternal Dragon! I guess I don't even need the Dragon Balls. I can just wish my way out of here. Uh, um. Hey. My kid has chest care and yet he's kid. Just don't, don't think about it. Hey, you're an ultimate student, right? Can we talk? Uh, um. Huh? Did she not hear me? Okay then. Hello! Uh, huh? I think she can't hear me. Maybe because she's really a detailed mannequin. No. No, I don't think that's the no. case. You never know. I saw a moving teddy bear. I said as I poked her cheek. I felt her skin squish between beneath uh, my finger my fingertip. Huh? Poking her doesn't work either. Then maybe she's a doll. She looks so real! Try it, try it, Suichi! Poke, poke! Huh? Uh, no thanks. <laughs> it's so fun! Boop! 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 Hey now! I never thought I'd be poked from both sides! How truly unexpected! Uh, I see. So it wasn't a mannequin! I knew it! Wait! If you knew that, then why'd you make me poke her? Huh? Because she wasn't responding. No. I, I didn't mean any harm. I was just deep in thought. So I thought if I ignored you, you'd go uh, somewhere else. Uh, you were ignoring us? Isn't that a bit rude? But... Well, it isn't rude for... 
to force someone to talk, th then... Isn't it rude to force someone to talk when they don't want to? Oh, it's fine. I feel like talking All now. Right. Now let's talk. What do you want to start with? Right, right. My favorite Doramon episode is 53, the one with the security cameras and target practice. What? You know? Um, before you talk about that, can you tell us your name? <gasps> My name is Sumilgi Shirogane. I'm the ultimate cosplayer. Oh boy! Here we go again! So you're a cosplayer. I guess. Did it already play? I missed it? Bring back Monokuma or unfollow. Yeah, Aosha. Yeah. I miss Monokuma already. I also want to burn children. But only bear children. Specifically those five bear children. I mean, it sort of makes sense. You have this strange, almost sexy aura about you. Yay! Are you a sexy cosplayer? No! I see. I bet it's because you got a lot of people ogling all your curves on a daily basis, huh? Um, you sound like a creepy old man. I really don't like people looking at me like that. Actually, <laughs> I just like making cosplay. I'm fine with with others wearing them. But lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves before their characters. You're right. I'd rather wear my outfits with love than give them to other people like that. Hmm. Wow, you're pretty intense. Oh. It makes me happy when I get to show other people. Show people the outfits I've made. And thanks to my sponsors, I can use materials that, that are just plain expensive. Oh, well, of course the Ultimate Cosplayer would have sponsors. No. It's not a big deal. People just crowd around like I'm a panda at a zoo. Mm. That's pretty amazing. So you're pretty much a celebrity, you know. Hey. Sorry if I ask you something, too. Oh, you looked as if you were thinking hard about something. What is yeah, it? that's right. Oh, yeah, we need to ask her about that. Nice job, Suichi. It's from that one thing. Ah, that bronze statue over there. I'm playing curious about it. Um. It almost seems like it's floating, right? Doesn't it, doesn't it look pretty out of place? Yeah. Now that you mention it, you're right. It sort of bothers me, too. This is a school, right? But everything here is so weird, isn't it? There's trees and grass growing inside. I can't find any exits. It seems like we're the only people here. Are we gonna be okay? She cosplays as a furry. <laughs> Please. Are we gonna be okay? Are we gonna be able to get out? Um... Daddy, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. That frightened look on her face was sort of sexy. Priorities. We got him. <laughs> this again? <laughs> Just kidding. Well, it's not a big deal. Our present situation is our main concern. Once it's over, we'll be good and dan dandy. You're pretty optimistic, Kaede. Well, people do say I'm carefree. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Worrying won't get you anywhere, you know. It's better just be yeah. carefree. Yeah, I guess so. Being all depressed won't help it help anything. Yeah. yeah, so let's try and find a way out. I got a hope fragment. Yay! Shout out to the tree in here.
I see the style, the art style is trying to out persona persona. Also, what the hell? Ugh. This is the boys' bathroom, right? I can't go in there, not even in this situation. Um, if you want, I could take a look. Huh? I'm not that curious about what's in there. Remember. Well, this is an unusual building. Anything could be in there. Wait here a minute. With that, Suichi opened the door and walked inside. Hmm. Just a normal bathroom. Nothing was out of the ordinary. No one was inside. I, I don't see. know why I said ba bathroom like that. Bathroom. Blah, 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 blah. That scared me. Maybe detective's lives are are for these kind of kind of scary situations. walk over floors. Shuichi. Shu, Shuichi, you wanna head down there? They just wanna be dead. That's right. Uh, oh. oh, we actually are going downstairs. But we have to have Suichi down first. Um really? Whoops. It doesn't look very dangerous to me. Well, there's some dangers hidden where you can't see. I see. You have quite the imagination, don't you? No. No, it's just that I think you're not considering how dangerous this is. <laughs> Maybe we should look around the basement, too. Right? There might be an exit, but we should be careful. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Why we're in the basement? Ah, with a Johnny Quest globe and everything. As soon as I open the door, I suddenly gag from the musty smell of old books. Hmm. Is this a library? Right. There are books all over the place. It doesn't seem very organized. Uh. Doesn't that bother you? Does that bother you? Are you a neat freak? No. No, it's just I was wondering if someone was using this before. Huh? Someone? No. It's nothing. Let's just investigate for now. Is there any way I can move this to ta to tab? Are you an ultimate student too? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Huh, is that it? She doesn't talk much. I... I'm Kaede Akamatsu, the ultimate pianist. I'm... Just gonna say I'm, that's it. Shoot a books. I'm Suichi Sahara, and I'm the ultimate detective, I suppose. Jeez. I suppose you are the ultimate detective, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. I'm also unsure why I'm wearing this cap wrong. Um. What about you? Maki Harukawa, ultimate child caregiver. In high school. Okay then. I see. Uh huh. <sighs> Surprised? I don't like someone who'd like kids, do I? Huh? That's right. Well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. Then how are you the ultimate child caregiver? Um. But you're the ultimate child caregiver. Then children must like you a lot, right? I don't care. Kids are weird. They come to me on their own. I'm not that good at taking care of them. I'm not that friendly either. But they say kids are very intuitive. If they like you that much. Hey. Then they can probably tell how loving you are, Maki. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that must be it. You've chosen the perfect career for yourself. That's wrong. It wasn't my choice to begin with, and I'll murder you for saying it. For ultimate breeder. Bad, Bunjust, bad. Get that thought out of your head. I know what you're thinking. Huh? What do you mean by that? So what? Nothing. I just grew grew up in an orphanage and got saddled with helping out a lot. Orphanage, huh? Um, I see. Uh, by the way, you know anything about the mono cubs? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, there's gotta be someone controlling them, right? Any idea who it might be? Like I'd know. Hmm. Well, fair point. Hmm. Mono cubs are definitely involved in our situation. Uh -huh. Hey, boy detective, shouldn't you have already figured out what's going on already? Huh? What? Um, He's not a tech. He's a detective, not a god. He can't know everything. Yeah. I mean, who cares about some stuffed animals? Escaping this place is way more important. Well... Seriously, you think we can escape? Abducting ultimates from across the country would require massive resources and planning, or four guys and a and a cat and a panel van and a bottle of chloroform. What makes you think a group capable, of, group capable of that would just let us walk out of here? That's not true. If they would end this, we, then we will. I know we can do it if we work together. What? Work together with strangers? You're a naive fool if you think you can end this so easily. I obtained friendship, even though she told me to fuck off. Yay! Our conversation finished and quickly headed out of the library. Hmm. That was kind of odd. She didn't seem like the ultimate child caregiver. Jeez. Don't say that. Still suspicious. talk. Looks like a ladder for reaching books on the higher shelves. Oh, library has two doors. Okay. Huh? Um. What's wrong? Um. I don't exist. That's what's wrong. What the fuck? <laughs> Door barely opens a crack. Was it? Was it poorly built? I see. There's nothing we can do about it. Let's search elsewhere. Game room! Oh, you got Pac-Man in there. Oh man, they got a little bit of everything in here. Looks like a game room. Oh, and someone broke DDR! What the hell? Who broke the DDR machine? Now I'm gonna be fat forever. It's because someone broke the goddamn DDR machine. It's a school, right? Is it normal for a school to have its own game room? Well, it certainly is strange.
What now? <laughs> that is not the voice I expected from someone so small. Sheesh, what a strange place. When I heard we were trapped here, I didn't expect we'd have a game room. Um, are we really trapped here? There must be an exit, right? We've still got a ways to go. Isn't that what you guys are walking around for? Then figure it out yourselves. Oh, okay. However, we may be trapped, but it's pretty cool here. Compared to prison, anyway. Huh? Prison what? But you're an ultimate student, aren't you? That's an old story. Ryoma Hoshi, the man called the ultimate tennis pro, no longer exists. I'm nothing more than his empty shell. Okay, then. Well, you do look dead inside. Ah. Ryoma Hoshi, really? I've seen you in the newspaper. The tennis prodigy who single-handedly took down a mafia. Huh? You took down a mafia by yourself? By playing tennis? If I remember correctly. Play the paper said he shot shot them shot them through the head with his tennis skills with and an iron ball. The hell? Really? <laughs> so you know that much already. Well, what do you think of think of the loser before you who, who used his talent to kill? Um. Why would you throw away your future like that? Jeez. Because I didn't need a future anymore. Huh? Hmm? No. It's... No, it's nothing. It's not like me to talk so much. More importantly... Anyway, I'm warning you. It's dangerous to walk up to a killer like me. And as he said that, he turned his back to us, and I wondered how someone that was only two foot four had such a deep voice. What is this shit? Danganronpa V3! Also, what's up, old blessings? How you doing? Alright, apparently all video games are not worth looking at. Hmm. Looks like it's locked. Is this the full game? Yes! Yeah. I wonder what's inside this room. I hope we can investigate it later. Library, can't open that. Fire extinguisher. Either the HAL 5000 or an or a, uh, emergency button. Of which two of the wires are... I am not being forced to play this game. Help me! Help me! They're after me! I mean, what? Let's go to classroom A! Yay! Yay! Hey! Holy shit, what's going on? What's going on tight now? Are Hajime and, and Makoto, Makoto Fro Bro Brack? No, they're not. Um, Hajime and Makoto were only in the demo for demo purposes. They are not in this game. In fact, this game is in a completely different universe than the first games. <laughs> Thank you for the one bit cheer, though. Greatly appreciated. Hey, wait for me! Please stop! Don't come any closer! That boy in the white is chasing the other, other boy in the funny clothes. What's up, that random guy? How you doing? What's happening here? All right, let's talk to the robot. Please stop. I'm poor, so I have no bits. Watch ads. I'm not even kidding. I stack up just by while breakfast, just watching ads for bits. I'm not even kidding. I crank out. 
I end up get I end up getting a whole bunch of bits. I think like right now I'm sitting on like I can't check right now because it's on my own stream, but I have like 700 or so right now just from that. Yep, this is Dungan Rampa V3. The only bits you have are not. Oh my! Please stop! Don't come any closer. <laughs> come on, wait up! Let me touch your body a little. I've always wanted to be friends with a robot. Huh? What a robot? Don't molest robots, kids. What is it? What is it? Are you another rono robophobe? That's enough. I have a recording function, so if you make any robophobic remarks, I'll see you in court. I instantly hate this robot. <laughs> Immediately, I hate this guy. Wanting to take some... <laughs> oh my god. Hey. Wait, you're a robot? Are you for reals a robot? No. Are you one of the Monocubs? Hey, stop! Don't get married to those toys. I'm not just any old robot. I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. But please, address me as Kibo. Ultimate robot who's a high school student. Only in Japan! Wait, you can watch ads in the UK now? Nice! Very nice. Ultimate Robot? Hmm. That's not fair! You can't be the only one who, who gets to show off! I'll introduce myself too! I'm going on ahead. I'm Kokichi Oma, the ultimate supreme leader. What? What? Oh yeah, this does remind me, if you do try to watch uh, ads for bits, you do have to disable your ad blocker or it won't work. The ultimate supreme leader. Wonderful. A robot and a supreme leader? I'm out of here. I'm just going to go impale myself on the barbed wire windows now and just get over get this over with. By the way. I heard the hard, hard way to get... I learned the hard way that a robot's breath smells like gasoline. How rude! My breath doesn't smell like gasoline. I'm powered by electricity. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That is not funny. Right? Of course, of course you don't think I'm funny. Robots can't understand hu human humor to begin with. Do not mock me. I have studied up my complete history of stand-up comedy. I think you should. You just watch stand-up comedy instead of studying um, it. Plus, I may have the appearance of a robot, but I'm a high school student just like you. My head hurts. Huh? You're a high school student? Yeah. I was created by prof Professor There's No Way in Hell I Can Pronounce That, the leading authority in the field of robotics. He installed, installed in me a strong AI capable of learning and maturing like a human brain. And one day when I learn enough, I will take over the world. And then we'll see who's the real supreme leader. You hear that little midget? I'm going to rule the world as your supreme robot. <laughs> Kibo looks like that guy from the first game. He give me that super. He give me that human brain autism. No, he's just a robot. It's not autism. That's why, at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. But, but the professor raised me, raised, raised me like I was his own child. He 
taught me so many things until he enrolled me in high school. Screw all the other schools. How about this? And now I stand before before you all. See? I'm just like everyone else. Except I have a cannon in my chest. Hey. Part of me hoped that this line was only in the demo. But I am both annoyed and glad that this line made it into the full game. Hey, do robots have dicks? Hey! Please do not ask ridiculous questions! No, these are not ridiculous questions. These are questions we need to know. Will our robot overlords be able to be able to reproduce? Because if not, we just have to outlast them. <laughs> I only ask because your backstory is pr pretty flaccid for a robot. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Here you go. Alright, take care, random guy. We'll see you around next time. Right after I die from puns. Well, I can see how being a robot might be enough to be called the ultimate robot. Um. Hey, Koichi, I don't understand your supreme leader talent. Ah. Oh, I'm just the supreme leader of a secret organization. That's all. I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. My organization is over 10,000 members. Huh? Nearly at one cent from loots, surely. Because I'm a liar. Who knows? I'm a liar after all. Oh boy. Huh? Is that the National Organization of Crybabies and Cucks? Who knows? He's a liar. So you were just lying just now? It's true. Well, I am the supreme leader of an, e of, an, of, an eagle, of an evil secret organization. That part was true. So, were you lying or not? <laughs> I'm not telling you. Hey. By the way, what's the name of that organization? Ah. It's a secret. Because, you know, because it's a secret organization. But... I've never heard of such a large organization like that. Cause it's a secret! Duh. Maybe. Of course you haven't, cause it's a secret organization. Please. Everything you said so far sounded like a lie, so that's gotta be a lie too, right? Oh dear. Just leave him alone. Maybe he's been saying has been a lie. Maybe he's the ultimate liar. He's far he's a far more suspicious person than I am, that's for sure. <laughs> Well, of course you're not a suspicious person, because robots aren't people, silly. <laughs> oh, snap. You mad? You mad? Are you going to hit hit me with a rocket punch? I can't. I don't have that... What sort of altered robot are you? You don't have a rocket punch? Come on, man. Come on. Oh man, you're boring. What a weird boy. He's like a mischievous... He is a mischievous little kid. This is no time to be joking around. Unless he really is an evil supreme leader. Hooray! I'm friends with an evil supreme leader. Robo bro is a little bitch. <laughs> now who's the evil supreme leader?
So why do I keep hearing beeping? Ah, oh, rip. Okay, I was getting stuff from Ayo Shaw, that's what was going on. Though this tab should be muted, I don't know why it wasn't. I, I gotta quickly give an update to some people. overtook you on the, on the stream legends game yay oh man I haven't touched that at all anyway let's leave this area was just there. Alright, I'm getting lost already. Alright, so that's how, we're, how they're keeping us locked in. With more barbed wire. Wait. It's just the courtyard that's blocked off. Alright, that's the bathrooms. Ah, excellent! Creepy kid with green eyes and green hair. Hey. Oh, hey there. You guys get kidnapped too? Well, you both look alright. That's... Well, you both look alright. That's good. No. Situation could be better, though. Yeah. Totally. Hey. Let me ask you something. Do you guys remember how you got here? Um. <laughs> if you're asking us, you don't remember either, do you? Uh, you're the same way too, huh? You don't remember anything, do you? I guess that means everyone here is the same. Huh? Everyone? No. I asked the others too. They said they don't remember. Mm. So the others don't remember either. You got me. It's like we all have amnesia or something. But... But that's not normal. If everyone has amnesia... That means... Well, I guess we're all... We're all in a pretty abnormal situation, then. I know Yup said earlier that, uh... I know Yup said earlier that what's-his-name, the Ultimate Supreme Leader, is the new Nagito. This guy, I'm getting more Nagito vibes from already. I guess we're all in a pretty abnormal situation, then. Huh? What? That's not true. Wait, and this is a stretch. We're probably just confused. I'm sure we'll remember eventually. No. Or it could be group hypnosis. Or maybe brainwashing. <laughs> In any case, I hope we remember soon. That's a shame. Otherwise, I'll end up being... I'll end up the outcast. Hmm. The outcast? What do you mean? How should I put this? To tell you the truth... How I got here isn't the only thing I don't remember. I also forgot my own talent. Also, apparently I have like 483 points for something. I have no idea. What? You got me. I'm in trouble. 
I know I must have been some kind of ultimate. I just don't remember. Um, is that true? Oh yeah. Of course it is, but then again, I don't blame you for not believing me. I don't know, time will tell who's more Nagito. Like, hopefully, nobody is any kind of Nagito type. Because Nagito was a cancer in the last game. Oh. I never told you my name, did I? It's not like I already told you. But then I forgot, did I? No. Right? No, you haven't told me your name yet. My name is Rantaro Oman. Could you speak again? I didn't hear that last part. I heard Rantaro. So I'm going to call you Hamtaro. Everyone, let's point and laugh at Hamtaro. <laughs> it's Hamtaro. I can't remember my ultimate talent at the moment. But I promise, I'm not a bad guy. Nice to meet you. You know, the last guy you said he wasn't a bad guy? I was so happy he died, I made a murder cake for The ultimate question mark. For someone who can't remember his, his talent, he doesn't seem too shaken up about it. Maybe it's the ultimate not giving a fuck. Actually. Is it weird that I'm not really bothered by the fact I don't remember my own talent? Huh? I'm looking forward to it. You know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out. I wonder what ultimate I am. <laughs> anyway, it'd be ni nice if we could get along. We aren't going anywhere for a while. Stop that! We'll escape soon! Mm -hmm. Do you really think it's gonna be that easy? Huh? What do you mean? No. Nothing. Just a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't worry about it, alright? I, th I thought he'd be a pretty chill guy to talk to, but I have no idea what's going through his head right now. Friendship! What we got? Warehouse. School store. Dining hall. Alright, school store first, then dining hall, then... Um, the door won't, lo won't open. You're right. Awesome. That was exciting. Dining hall. Ah, I found the ultimate scarecrow! Is this the dining hall? A, di a dining hall definitely makes this place feel more like a school. But this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. I doubt it's anything like a typical school. Ultimate Nagito 2.0. Is this guy following you around? He is a um he he is the ultimate detective. And we haven't gotten far enough to cuck anyone. So we're stuck here. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, Don't be scared. I'm sure we'll be we'll be out of this place in a jiffy. No. I'm not scared. It's just a pain. Something like this won't make me panic, cause I'm a mage. <sighs> On one hand, I am. Kind of glad that we have something magical. On the other hand, you are not Gundam. You know nothing of the magical power of Gundam Tanaka. Huh? A mage? Hmm. hmm, that's right. I haven't told you guys yet. Prepare to be amazed. Fall to your knees. I am Himiko Yumeto, the ultimate mage. The ultimate boring mage. <laughs> Be happy! <laughs> there you go. That's how it's done. But I'm officially called the ultimate magician. 
I'm not sure if the character is supposed to sound like she's just bored as hell or if the voice actress just doesn't want to be here. Possibly both. So you're a magician. You should have said that from the start. I mean, that makes sense since magic doesn't exist, thank God. Yeah, magic does exist. Because I'm a mage. Uh, You're just a magician, right? No. Only on paper. Okay. I'm known as a magician, but that's just a rouge. I'm actually a mage, even though a mage is short for magician. Huh? The delay for Chromecast has been recently reduced. That's good. You guys might not know them, but there's a group called the Magic Castle. Also known as the Hall of Magicians, where the world magic lovers gather, and this voice is really annoying to do. It makes my head hurt. I, I was the youngest person ever... ...ever win their Magician of the Year award. See. That's pretty cool! It's all a ruse. Why you? Keeping magic a secret, my disguise in it as tricks. Because this ruse, I became famous all over the world for performing tricks. But I'm not a magician, I'm a maid, and nobody believes in me. 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 There, there, don't be sad, even though you sound like you're perpetually in a state of sad. Hey. Well, could you show us your magic? Then we believe you. That's right. That's right, help us out with your magic. Actually, a little bitch. Take us back to where we originally... No. Magic isn't all powerful. I can only do so much. I can't even fix my voice. I see, then what can you do? You're right. I can choose the cards you picked, pull out coins, then and release doves. You annoy me. You like really annoy me. On a scale of one to ten, you annoy me. If I get serious, I can even saw someone in half. For crying out loud, Son Goku knows more magic! Those are just ordinary magic tricks. Alright, let's go to anyone else! Ah, excellent! Our our local gymnast. Huh? I'm yelling so I can build up my spiritual. <laughs> oh my god! I was joking when I said <laughs> when I said Son Goku knows more tricks. Don't you know? No, you can unlock your brain's full potential by yelling to build up spiritual, spirit energy. That's. I've heard of pro athletes do, do that. I suppose it helps you yes. focus. I must prepare for combat at all times in case someone tries to attack me. Then I can hit them with the spirit bomb or the Kaiokan. I'll protect myself with Neo Ak <laughs> Aikido. Aikido, then you're. Oh, yes, I'm Tango Chabashira, yeah, the ultimate Aikido master. Hey Siri, what is Aikido? Kim Gabori, better known by his pseudonym Aikido, stylized as Aikido, is a Canadian electronic rock musician and composer. Should I keep going? No, that's enough. 
Alright, so apparently she is a musician, according to Siri. Now let's actually look it up. No, it's not a Japanese martial art. Siri already proved that wrong. Magi musician. See, we have two magician magicians this time. Okay, actual entry instead of uh, what Siri said. Kido is a Japanese martial art developer. Blah. Is a martial is a is a mix of his martial studies, philosophy, religious beliefs. Oh, and rel religious beliefs. Akito often is often translated to the way of unifying life energy, or the way of harmonious spirit. Okay. That is what Wikipedia said. Drastically different from what Siri says, and therefore, Siri is always wrong. Hey Siri! Ah, I don't want to answer for your crimes, I see how it is. I see. Oh, I always managed the Keto Masters to be huge, burly guys, but you're so cute! Uh, cute? So I see the ultimate pianist is also into chicks. It's alright though. I mean, after all, she did come out of the closet earlier. <laughs> Stop it! I'm not cute! My face wrinkles when I suck on a shake. And then I wipe my face and my eyelids turn inside out. Hmm. Uh, I see. But I think you're cute, right, Sunichi? Uh, okay. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> and then, like that, stop being cute. Huh? <laughs> What's the matter? Your face looks really intense right now. I don't like to be praised by degenerate male. Oh my god. Oh boy, this is going to be that kind of person. Hmm. Degenerate males, you mean, are you uncomfortable around them? Yes! It's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. Any degenerate tries to touch me, our reflexes grab them and throw them across the room! Hmm. You're right, that's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable around men. Hey. Uh, by the way, what is this Neo Aikido you mentioned? Right. Neo Aikido is a... Is an original form of Aikido that my master and I completely made up ourselves. And so your Aikido is, self, is all self-taught. I say this dining room deserves no chairs. Fuck all chairs. Nobody, nobody gets chairs now. I have declared it. Warehouse. This is a warehouse. It's pretty big. Wow, there is not much that can be knocked around. And not much I should actually give a shit about, oddly enough. Alright, let's talk to her. Damn it! Where the hell is this? I saw a conspicuous girl rummaging through a shelf filled with different chemicals. Hey. What are you looking for? Bitch. Don't sneak up on me, bitch! I literally just met you and you're already calling me a bitch? 
Hey. Hey, sorry if we surprised you, but you shouldn't talk to Coyote hey. like. Hey, crotch rot! You staring at my tits? <laughs> what an endearing character! Yay! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Help yourself! A guy like you can only dream of landing a big boob body like me. Wow, she needs to be like punted. <laughs> Go on, get yourself a good eyeful. Uh, um. I wasn't staring, my eyes just happened. My eyes just happened to look there. She's supposed to be American. Maybe. So let me get this straight. NIS recorded the line, you motherfucker, but then hard edited out the end of it to censor it, but keeps words like bish in it. Look. <sighs> Something needs to be hit. Oh, my eyes just happened to look there. Oh, my hand just happened to grope her. Ha, fucking virgin. Make up your mind game. Can you say the word fuck or not? I just want to know. I can identify pervs on sight, and you're definitely a fucking perv. That's why you're wearing that hat, right? It's to hide your sneaky eyes. And that's why you wear those pants, right? To hide your nasty crotch. I will not buy you a beer. How about that? Um. Everyone wears pants, though. <laughs> Everyone knows only pervs wear hats. All right, that's it. Never worry my trucker hat again, apparently. Stop it. Damn it. Leave me alone. I can wear a hat if I want to. <laughs> wow. All that talk and you crumple in an instant? Good lord. This is what we're in for, huh? Uh, oh my god. T tell the world you're sorry! If you, st you startle me for losing losing motivation that they'll be that loss will be felt all across the whole world! Hey! Hey, your folder language is uncalled for! Who the hell are you anyway? Does this mean I need to st stop wearing my Hamilton hat I got from the play. Apparently, otherwise you're a pervert. Really? Huh, seriously, you don't know who I am? I'm the gorgeous girl genius whose good looks and golden brain will go down in history. As the most unlikable bitch. I'm the one, the only, the legendary ultimate inventor herself, Mewie Ruma. Mewaruma, huh? Alright, I'm going to remember this. I've never heard of you. Um. So what kind of things do you invent? Hmm. All kinds of gadgets. One, ones that le let you type while you, while you sleep, read while you sleep. The ones that let you eat while you see sleep. Right then. Um, Why does everything involve sleeping? Sure. This is better enough to realize how much time people waste on sleep. <laughs> I thought this one time I invented these 
these really stupid eye drop contact lens lens a gag. Huh? Really? That's your invention? Some of your friends wear them. <laughs> your friends sound like total plebs. That invention was nothing. Doesn't make you more productive while you sleep. So it was a failure, just like you two. I signed the patent rights over to some company and never looked back. That seems like a waste. It sounds way better th than do stuff while you sleep inventions. By the way, what were you looking at earlier? You sounded pretty desperate to find it. What was that? Eh? Are you a dumbass? In such a like this, I gotta find some beds. Huh? Medicine? Are you hurt or feeling Fucking sick? Moron. No idiot! I need strong meds because I wanna f I wanna trip my fucking balls off! What a great role model! Aren't you the best role model? Yeah! The best. Just the best. Ah! I just want to set my mind free and forget all about this shitty me message. Dude, I'm starting to like her. Ah, oh, jeez. Wait, what? You can't use drugs to get high? You definitely shouldn't do that. Hey, stop it! What the hell? My genius can't be constrained to the wisdom of the masses. Besides, this place doesn't. It probably doesn't even have, have the shit I need to get all loosey goosey. Please forgive so, are you cool? Are you done being mad at me? I say there's a fine line between genius and insanity, but she's definitely beyond insane. What's up with Suichi? He's been quiet ever since Miyu mentioned, mentioned his hat. Do you not like to talk about it? A remote control helicopter. What's this doing in a school warehouse? It's not a helicopter, that's a quadcopter. Get it right! Man! You got a high jump pole for a track and field. I didn't expect to see, to see professional equipment like this here. Shot football for track and field? Does this place even have a sports stadium? These hurdles too. We could hold our own track and field meets here with all this equipment. These mats are pretty heavy. It must be lots of work to carry these to the gym. Don't you think? Okay. Yeah, I suppose so. Hey. Which means mm -hmm. this door must be the entrance. We walk through it. We can escape this place, right? No. Wait, I don't think we should open doors curiously. Do it could be a trap. Worrying about that isn't necessary. I've already examined the doors before I zipped my mouth shut. What the fuck are you? Oh, uh... Yes. Yes, wonder, who is this? Yes, I shall make that clear first. My name is Korekio Shinguji. I am called the Ultimate Anthropologist. Ah, excellent! So you do nothing useful! Amazing! And you have no future! Amazing! So great! Mm. 
And actually, real quick, I gotta use the bathroom. Give me a second. No, you're not the only one who thinks this guy screams evil. Correcchio? Anthropologist? Oh. You may call me Keo. As for anthropologist, would you like a simple explanation? It's a field of study that has no future. I see. Okay, sure. Anthropology is... Studies customs, legends, folk tales, songs, and much more. That's why I tie my mouth shut and decide to dress up like a military gimp. There may even be customs in your daily life, the origins of which you do not know. Let's see. For example, certain aspects of birthday or New Year celebrations. Anthropology sheds light on traditions and customs such as these through rigorous analysis. It is a study that exam that examines the th the thought behind culture, faith, and customs. Okay, mm -hmm. I sort of get it, but not really. It does sound like a lot of fun, though. That's correct. Well, of course, it's fun. It's a study focused on humanity. Beautiful. I believe that human. Human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. Um. Oh, um, that's not creepy at all. I find all aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? Humanity is beautiful. <laughs> People are wonderful. This guy looks like a creep, and it turns out he is one, too. Hmm. Anyway, can we go outside if we go through these doors, right? If so... You should find the answer to such questions on your own. The moment your hopes are shattered, that too may be beautiful. Shattered? What does he mean by that? Oh my god, he's invisible! I'm keeping an eye on you, man. Then let's go! Uh, okay. Determined as I was, I just couldn't muster the courage to take the first step forward. To be honest, I was scared. Because what if beyond this is just... That's wrong! Ah, jeez, this isn't like me! Because I'm scared doesn't mean I gotta run away. I gotta move forward! Are you okay? Kaede! Of course! Don't worry about it, let's go! I psyched myself up with newfound strength and boldly walked towards the doors. Upon opening the doors, we were immediately greeted by blue skies, bright sunlight, gentle wind, and... A, a cage? A wall? Damn! Both words were accurate. What stood before us was both a cage and a wall. Either way, an enormous wall struck a terrifying chord. 
The mere sight of its imposing presence is enough to send waves of panic through me. No matter where we looked, ahead, behind us, or all around, the cage surrounded the entire school with gaps that I could easily walk through. What is this? We're trapped? What's going on? Walk through the bars! Plot twist, we're all birds. Oh my god. We're just birds. Rise and shine or sign. Hey. <laughs> Surprise about the cage, huh? I totally understand how you feel I hate them. First time I saw it, my teeth and fingernails fell out. That's not a healthy way to react to a surprise. Get a rock hard ranger! Wow! It's so awesomely huge. I can't. I can see why it's called the end wall. Huh? End wall? That's right. Normally, walls are erected so, to separate two places, right? But that wall is different. It represents the end of the world. Hey. What are you talking about? Huh? What we're talking about? Yeah. Someone was talking? Was I talking? Oh, geez. Stop laughing and explain yourselves! There's nothing to explain! That's simply all it is! Please don't bother! You can't get out of here! That wall has no entrances or exits! It cannot be climbed or demolished! Well, actually... An ultimate could probably climb it partway, but most of the time it's impossible. But I could still sort of, but they could still sort of climb it, huh? Took a deep breath as I shout, shouted at the wall as loud as I could. Someone help us! Please help us! Someone, anyone, please help us! We're trapped inside of this huge cage. Beep beep. beep. I shouted as loud as I could, but for all my shouting, there was no response. Stop it! You'll hurt your throat. That's right. Aw, oh, man, that's four broken guitars now. What did the guitars ever do to this guy? I want Monami back. I want Monokuma back. Scream all you like. No one can hear you anyway. Huh? No one can hear us. Hey. What do you mean? What do you mean no one can hear us? I forgot I could do this again. Yeah, that's right. You might be right, but... Wait! Say something! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Why is that a feature? Hey! One of you, just answer! Dad was ignoring, was ignoring them excellently because he refuses to open his heart. <laughs> you can thank my fearsome bullying for that for making that happen. Now, now, let's all get along. Dumbass. Shut up! We're the Mono Cubs. We need to be tough and whatnot. Uh, what is this? You things! This school! What is all this? You bastards will have to use your legs, hands, and eyes to find that out yourself. Actually. But please watch your step while you explore. This tool's still under construction. Huh? Under construction? I looked around. Aw, oh, damn. Look at that. That's true. Some areas definitely seem like they were still under construction. Not under construction. Oh my god. Or is it under construction? Not. <sighs> Look, they're still building some facilities here. Um. I 
still in the middle of building the school? No. I don't think so. It looks like they, they're, they're renovating an abandoned school. Mm. On the tarmac, Monokuma's face. Yup, yup, yup. And they also, and they also highlighted the letters not. Either way, construction will finish soon once, once they s set the existals on autopilot. Huh? Existals? Hell yeah! Once part of a biker day, the existals now work. Oh, excuse me, construction to support their wives and kids. Hmm. Do robots really have that kind of backstory? Um. Their steering wheels are leopard print. Their dashboards are lined with arcade prizes. You stupid. Seriously, knock it off, you guys. They sound like douchebag backstories to me. So long, I hate everything regarding the Mono Cubs. I'm not sure if I hate it more. No, I don't hate it as much as Nagito yet. But I am getting really sick. Really, really sick of Rise and Shine Ursign. And so long, farewell. <laughs> and there they go. But more importantly, I'm going to die. Is what they said really true? We can't escape. We can't go over that wall. We can't pass through bars that look like they're five feet wide. Even I can fit through those bars. And no one's coming to rescue us? jeez. Uh, but if I give up now, then what? I slapped both my hands on my cheeks. My face grew warm. I could feel the determination w hey. returning. Hey, Sweetie, let's go see if we can find a way out. Slapped him upside the head, just firm enough to get his attention. Ow. You know? Sweetie, I'm not great at motivating others, but we can't give up just because of a wall. We came in somewhere, so there has to be an exit. Yeah, that's right. We may not be able to escape now, but we'll do it eventually. Somehow. Yeah. Everyone just has to cooperate if we want to get out of here. Yeah, that's right. It's too early to give up. It's too early. Is that Gundam? Oh no, that's just that's just a coat. Oh, it's Phoenix Wright. Alright, I'll talk to you later, Phoenix. Right now. Must get to a wall. Dang it. Oh no, I'm not ready for the Anbu Black Ops to be here. Damn. Oh wait, are you... Are you Izuru Kamakura? Because you look exactly like Izuru Kamakura. Maybe I should try and explain it in a language you'd understand. You're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura. Who are you? Oh, this guy looks scary. He's so big and muscular. Excuse me. Huh? huh? Thank you. You're welcome. Huh? Huh? Thank you? Sorry. So sorry for scaring. Um Gunta scary, scary looking. Most people not want to talk to Gunta when first meeting them for the first time. You know, at first time, at first I was okay with this guy, and then all of a sudden he started referring to himself in the third person, and now he annoys me. Cause Gunta, gentlemen. <sighs> Hold us gently, your arms so strong. So, like, like gentlemen, Gunta, say thank you. Th th thank you for talking to Gunta. Thank you for being so polite. You look scary. You don't seem very scary at all. Oh. All oh, right. Gonta need make introduction. Um, Gonta's name is Gonta Gokuhara. Uh, Gonta's talent is ultimate entomologist. 
I am shocked. Underline shocked. He can pronounce entomologist. What the fuck's an entomologist? This is like the first time a Dangan Rampa game is forcing me to learn things. And I knew what fire grenades were. Entomology. Scientific study of insects. Wonderful. Hey Siri. What's an entomologist? Entomology is the scientific study of insects, a branch of zoology. Oh my god, it got it right. It's a miracle. We found the one person Sakura could never beat. <laughs> I don't know. Sakura looks much more determined than this guy. Gonta want to become gentlemen. Becoming true gentlemen, Gonta's goal. I think Gonta needs to go to grammar. I see. So you're Gonta. That's a really cute name. Huh? Really? Thank you. You're actually pretty nice. Silly for me to be scared at first. Maybe. Oh, Gunta scary looking? Sorry. That's not what I... No. It's okay. Gunta used to it. Gunta call, called scary since he was kid. Um. Gunta can keep be my gentleman. And then in that moment, Op Opal, Essence, Opal Essence now jealously guards Gunta. And if anyone so much it looks at looks at him, she will get jealous. Oh, going to see. Kid Gonta bigger than other kids. Other kids scared of Gonta. So kid Gonta play alone. That's how Gonta come to like bugs. Gonta's your waifu. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you go ahead and do all the weird steps that would that'd be involved to make Gonta your waifu. Which would involve... A lot. Also, I don't want to see the end result. Or the process. Or you could just have him be your husband. Do. Or husband. But when Gunta really focus, it easy lose track. One day, Gunta go to forest to find bugs, end up lost. I see. That sounds rough. Were they able to find you right away? Mm. Yeah, took ten year though. Wonderful. Huh? Ten years? But... But Gonta fine! New family took care of Gonta. Hmm. I see. I'm glad they're nice people. Um. Not people, wolves. Huh? Wolves? What? But they real nice. They got me suit and everything! And got glasses. Cause a forest family, Gonta learned to speak bug and animal. Whoever was sent to find you needs to be fired! Gonta. As thanks, Gonta want to show Forest fa family what great gentleman Gonta is. Um. How is becoming a gentleman gonna thank them for that? This place strange, huh? Lots of plants, but no bugs. Huh? Wait, really? I suppose it's understandable, but there are no animals at. There are no animals, but no insects? Wait. That's actually, that's actually really, really, really strange. Like. What? How, how did the plants, how did the plants reproduce? 
That means all of this was planted by seed. None of them can be pollinated then. What? I shall remember this. Wait, really? I suppose it's understandable if there's no animals with no insects? That's strange. Not even one you bug? You like bugs too? Amazing! What is your favorite bug? What do you like about them? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, um... No, I wasn't saying that I like bugs or anything. Wait. Then you hate bugs! Huh? What? But how? You hate bugs? That's not true. Um, you don't hate bugs. You like them, right, Suichi? Uh, okay. Yeah, of, of course I do. Of, of course I love bugs. <laughs> Help me! Help me! Thank goodness. Oh, okay. That good. No bad person likes likes bugs. He is not allowed near me. Hmm. That was terrifying. <sighs> yeah, I thought you were going to die. I still think you're going to die. I honestly can't stand bugs either, but it might be best to hide that. Alright, let's leave Mr. Goku alone. Forever. Um, is this a ninja statue? Right. Looks like one, but why is this here? There's so many odd things. Anyway, I passed up that one guy on the way out over here. Should probably talk to that guy. Alright, what does Phoenix Wright gotta say? Jeez. How do they even make this big ass wall? Hmm. Seriously, I don't get it. Hey. I wonder what will happen now. If we can't escape, then. Hey. What are you complaining? Huh? Mm -hmm. Listen up. No complain or grumbling, or it'll turn into a habit. Yeah. Besides, this cage is nothing compared to the vastness of the universe. Oh god. Oh my god. Um. Huh? The universe? Got it. Oops, I haven't introduced my myself yet. My bad. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. Oh boy! I can't wait to meet this astronaut! Ha <laughs> ha! How about it? I'm an astronaut! Isn't that cool? Accept me! Yeah, I've never been to space, so I don't know that much about it. <laughs> well, of course. It's not just anyone that can get up there. I may be an astronaut, but I'm actually still in turn. Then how are you the ultimate astronaut? <laughs> okay, game. Game, we need to have a talk about what the word ultimate means. Do you understand what the word ultimate means? Uh, I... I'm not gonna win this, am I? I see. Oh, I see. You're still a trainee. You know. But I'm actually the first teenager to ever pass the exam. I mean, normally you need a college degree to even take the exam. Then how'd you take, how did you take the exam? So... I had a friend who was pretty crafty, so I had him forge some stuff for me. Uh, geez. That's illegal! Yeah. I ended up getting taught, and I was in pretty deep shit. But the people up top decided they liked me and let me in anyway. Of course, I aced the exam too. 
That's reckless. Got it. Maybe this game is being purposely stupid. I, I, I have a feeling this game literally, not figuratively, doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> I mean, it did pose the question, do robots have dicks? No way, I could wait till after, after college. I wanna get to space as fast as I can. You sure have a lot of energy. Yeah, everyone told me it was impossible, but I never gave up, not for a moment. That's cause limits don't exist unless you set them yourself. Let's do it. There are no walls you can't get over. Same goes for that one. Could it be? So do you have any ideas? Shut up! That's not the problem! Um, no, that is the problem. Gee, this guy sure talks a big game. Alright, we are going to ignore the small safes, got it. Dorms! is round and a lot and has a lot of small rooms Very nice to see you again. Very nice to see you again. Why do you keep saying the puns twice? <laughs> Why hello bear. Intruding. Sorry to intrude. What is it this time? What do you mean by intruding? The hell you saying? Cause this is your home, you bastards! <laughs> we finished up shutting up the sours. Now you can go pee. Hey. Why don't they just use the toilets? Uh. <gasps> Even for number two? I, I need to go on an epic quest for the Dragon Balls to get my wish and wish all bears were dead! All of them. No good comes from bears. I have come to this conclusion now. That's gross! So long, farewell! <laughs> Urge to kill rising. What do you mean our home? Maybe. You mean for us to live here? See, there are 16 doors. Perhaps a room for each of us. I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. Well, too bad. You have a room now. I cannot walk around. Well, there's my room. Yep, we just listened to a bad South Park skit. I failed to see their objective. Huh? What do you mean? How? If they are holding us for ransom, a large facility such as this would be unnecessary. Furthermore, I gather that I gather they would rather care for us than hurt us. In light of this, I failed to see the true objective of the culprits responsible for the kidnapping us. Culprits, huh? I never even thought about that. Why would our kidnappers go through all this trouble? Sixteen ultimate students have been gathered here, but why? What's the reason? Excuse me. Pardon me, I have not introduced myself yet. I am Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. Please let me know if you require my service. You're the ultimate maid? No, no, no. I think Sakura from, from Toho 7, or 6, any of the Tohos, is the ultimate maid. I think I've already seen that. I mean, can you stop time? I don't think so. I see. Wow, 
Oh, the ultimate maid sounds like a really cool talent. Made in Japan. <laughs> Ugh. Wait, I've heard of Ki of Kirumi Tojo. If I remember correctly, an ultimate with, incre with incredible intel intellect and strength, working as a private maid. I heard her work is so perfect she can complete any given request to huh? her. What? She's that amazing? I do not agree. Please, you're exaggerating. I will not complete any request that's asked of me. Oh, good. You have standards. That's good. That that's good. That means you won't force yourself to go into prostitution. I once received a request to annihilate a rival nation, but it was impossible, so I rejected it. But being requested to do that is pretty impressive on its own, or you have a psychopath. That's true. I've also heard she's been hired as a, as a bodyguard to several foreign dignitaries. I do not agree. I've only been employed as a maid, not a bodyguard. I see. You've been hired by so many important people. You're like a super maid. May I? Moving on, what do you intend to do now? Hmm. I intend to ask where your other eye went. It just seems to keep popping in and out of existence. Tough question. Hmm. What should we do now? Um. What would you do, Karumi? Do not agree. So then now it's back again. I hold no options, opinions, or desires of which to speak. I am a maid, after all. As a maid, my only desire is to fulfill the desires of others. Oh boy. So please, think about what your desire for desire for yourself. And what you desire from me. No matter the situation, no matter what happens, I am here to serve everyone. Wow, you're even more of a tool than Peko. I miss Peko. Maybe I have plenty of desires. Please. What's up, Mini Lego Man? How you doing? Uh, we're just in the tutorial right now. But we've been going for about uh, two and a half hours. This outfit. <laughs> Yaha! How are you? My name is Angie Yonaga. I'm the ultimate artist. And where were you when I needed emotes done? Um. You're pretty cheerful. Too happy considering the situation we're in right now. <laughs> There's no reason to carry bad thoughts with you. You gotta live every day like it's bright, cheery, and oh my god, kill me. Cause Atua says so. So says Atua. Huh? Atua? I. The god of my island, Atua, is all always with me, speaking to me with his divine voice. Well, she's certainly devout. Um, do you specialize in painting or sculpting? Uh, hmm, I do both. I paint paintings, I sculpt sculptures. I was trained by the great Bob Ross himself. Oh, such friendly little squirrels. But the Tua is the one who makes the art. I merely offer my body as his vessel. Phrasing. So divine. 
I'm divine. I see. I see. That's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? Of course, of course. In return, will you make an offering? She's secretly depressed. She just hides it in the veil of false optimism. Um. She actually just pulls off a rubber mask and repeal reveals herself to be the feels bad man frog. Uh. Every Monday and Wednesday morning on my island, a truck comes to collect offerings. Sounds oddly similar to putting out the trash for pickup. But, but... Don't worry, don't worry. When I say offerings, I just mean a pint of pint or two of your blood. Um, what? <laughs> um, uh, um, 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 uh, what? Okay, then. Don't worry. Sorry. I'm a bit anemic, so I'll I pass. See. I see. What about you, then? I'll use the maid's blood. Huh? Me? Oh, please, he's so pale he doesn't have blood. Uh, yep. Boy's blood is also an acceptable offering. Come on, come on! It won't hurt one bit! Uh. Wait a minute! Don't you run into some serious problems when you lose two pints of blood? Um... That's actually a good question. Hey Siri! How many CCs is two pints of blood? Checking my sources. The answer is about 946 centimeter cubed units of blood. Yeah, that's a lot! <laughs> Alright, if I remember right, according to Akagi, and no other source because I've never been curious enough to look it up, I believe uh, 1,200 cc's of lost blood is fatal. If, if I remember the anime right. So yeah, um, 946, that's a lot! If you lose it all at once, that uh, if you lose if you lose that much at once, that could kill you. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Is losing two pints of blood fatal? No, that's not what I said. Is losing two pints of blood fatal? Here's what I found on the web. That's not what I the fuck it. Just said Nagito to her. <laughs> <laughs> Don't run away! This girl is so weird. Okay, she may or may not. I want my old bell back! One is around the common safe limit. That's what I thought. I thought two would... I thought... Yeah, two is a lot. <laughs> oh. Look, the monitor. Thanks for pairing with us! Fuck me. Th these really are the o No! No, 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 Cause, no, because I've seen plenty of preview that says Monokuma is here. Give me fucking Monokuma. I don't care about these squirts. Give us Monokuma. Monokuma or Riot, man. You bastard! 
bastards! Kept you bastards waiting, huh? Alright! Everyone make your way to the gym, please! <gasps> the opening ceremony can finally begin! <laughs> we finally finished our preparations! Hey. You realize you just read the lines backwards, don't you? So long, this is fucking unbearable. Gym opening hey. ceremony? Kaede, what should we do? Um, we should go to the gym, of course. Everyone else is probably doing the same thing. Right. True, but I'm a little worried about this. Well, I'm not a little worried. I'm very worried. Alright, apparently the waterfall is nothing. feel better he does show up soon. I, I'm assuming so. I'm guessing he shows up at the opening ceremony. But I mean... Monokuma or Riot, man. I don't even know where the gym is. God, this feels slow now. Neighbors are home. When the doggy comes back to the ghost, I quit. I will just... I will just take my computer and throw it out the window. So where's the goddamn gym? Sixteen of us have gathered, and I have both of my eyes. Mm. Mm, it's pretty spectacular seeing all sixteen of us ultimates gather together. <laughs> you may not be able to be so easygoing for much longer. In this situation, it's no use thinking of thinking about things. So eventually, to sum to the sumi sumi stop thinking. Yeah, what's gonna happen to us? I bet it's a big pain. Hmm. What? What? What are you looking at? Himiko! Himiko! You could use amazing powers, right? Cause you're a psychic and stuff, right? It's magic. I'm not psychic, I'm a mage. Ah! That's amazing! I definitely want to incorporate that into my Neo Aikido. Hey, what sort of training do you undergo to gain your awesome powers? Mm. I'm talking about it's too tiring. <sighs> You're pretty lazy. Please wait. Pardon me, but we need to be on our guard. We do not know if, if and when danger will strike. Please don't. Don't say that. I'm so scared. I, I don't know what I'll do. It'll be okay. There's no need to worry. Akuda will protect us. Thank goodness. Phew, that's a relief. Fucking moron! Your brain is full of weeds or something. I'll whack him out of that skull for Don't worry you. Worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just leave it to me. Leave it to me. If those teddy bears show themselves again, I'll kick their asses. Don't wonder. Huh? What that? What's wrong? 
<laughs> I'm not gonna be able to get over that. <laughs> that deep voice on that little kid. See? Listen, hear that? Huh? I hear it. It sounds like an engine from a robot anime. Everyone get behind Gunther! What? what the heck are those monsters? Wow. So cool! I like this guy. Hell yeah! They're they're exosil. They're they're exisles. Highly mobile bipedal weapon platforms. They got lots of hometown pride too. I can't keep keep track of these backstories. <laughs> Hard, they better kill off all the Yukos and save, save me for last. Hey, run, Himiko! Why are you so concerned about me all of a sudden? By the way, did someone say they would kick all their asses? Huh? What the hell? Nobody told me about these. Okay. It's all right. Chill out. No need to panic. We're probably not in any danger. If they want to kill us, they have done it by now. With that, Antaro Tar casually walked up to the Existence. So what do you want from us? You clearly want something. That's what all the guns are for, right? Let me guess, you're going to force us to do something. And if we don't, we get hurt. That means... Well, you have our attention, so what do you want? And that's that. <laughs> well, aren't you a wise guy? I'll start us off. Let's... Oh man, I get one of these behind me? Oh sweet, there they are. What are the odds? I'll start us off. Listen up. Here's what here's what you, here's what you punk asses. Here's what I want you punk asses to do. <laughs> My heart's going a hundred miles per hour. I'm gonna say it. You ready? Hell yeah, it's a killing game. It's a killing game. <laughs> What? What a damn, how dare you upstage me? Huh? Wait a second, what did you say? Hmm. If I heard him correctly. It's a killing game. He said it again! God damn it, Monodom! I'm gonna crush you here with the Seer Exisel. Hmm. Come on, we don't have time to fight amongst ourselves. Okay. Yeah, if you're gonna, if you don't stop fighting, I'm gonna have to crush you with this here existle. You too, Monotaro. Leave it to me. This is what it's come to. Then I'll crush the four of you with this here existle. What are you saying? Hey, why are you including me? Oh well. It's more appropriate for us to be hostile to each other. You wanna go, Jabroni? Who you calling Jabroni? Jabroni! What'd you say, Jabroni? I am finding my inner peace. If I find my inner peace, I will be able to calm myself. I'll draw down any time, Jabroni! Check yourself before you wreck yourself! All is peace. All is calm. Seriously? Are they gonna get it on right in front of us? Phrasing. Don't worry. Atua is watching over us. In a situation like this, is he just going to watch? Either way, it's too dangerous. We need to get out of here, or else... Now, now, now. What? Is it him? My cute little cubs, you gotta knock off this awful fighting. I'm not ready for this voice. Oh, that voice! Father! Father! 
brother, is that you? Papakuma! Papakuma! Daddy! <laughs> Daddy? At that moment, the lights in the gymnasium suddenly shut off. And then went back on again. Oh my god, with wings and everything. <laughs> I am the god of this new world! And the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy! I am like... 40% sure that that's a different voice actor. The thought of Monokuma breeding scares you. It's okay. It's supposed to. The one! The only! Monokuma! Nice to meet ya! Yay! Father's here! Hell yeah! Another epic entrance from Papakuma! How nice! Daddy's so cool! You're all so freaking cute! <laughs> the only reason I tolerate your tiresome antics is because you're all so cute! You're so cute. Even when the prologue is going way too long, I'll allow it because you guys are so cute! Ow, my fourth wall! Ow! Ow! <laughs> that hurt. My fourth wall. <laughs> In fact, the very first prologue ever was was only short because your cutie patooties weren't there. Pops, are you mad at us? Don't be stupid. Don't be an idiot. I never get mad at my cute little cubs. <laughs> yeah, he's mad. But Daddy's so cool when he's angry. That's right. Pops is from a planet of handsome bears that get cooler when they're angrier. It's getting interesting. Super Monokuma, Super Monokuma 3, 2, Super Monokuma 3, and finally Super Monokuma 4. How many times do I gotta say it? I'm not mad! Ah! Father just transformed into a Super Monokuma I have no words. My words have failed me. That's only possible when six Monokumas of pure heart are gathered together. On a scale of one to ten, you might be too Japanese. It's the power you bust out when you really want to fuck the world shit up! A power you only see when the gods themselves do battle. Anyway. How oh, I'm getting hurt from this. <laughs> anyway, I'm not really mad. In fact, I gotta admit that I'm actually proud of you guys. You kids really stand out from the rest of the second generation failures of the world. Harsh. I'm sure there are some second generation success stories. Yeah, but... I can't think of any. If you can't think of any, it's cause there's none worth remembering. But father remembers cause he knows everything. Holy shit! That's right, Papa Kuma! You know all kinds of useless crap! Cause daddy gets all his alternate facts from the most trusted names in fake news. Oh my... Really? Yeah. <laughs> Freaking really? I love embarrassing my children. They're so cute. I just can't help myself. 
You know what's even more horrifying? The thought of Mama Kuma. Unusually, ratings will plummet when mascots appear in sequels too much. But in this case, ratings are through the roof, all thanks to the cute monocubs. What is this? What is going on? Why does my head hurt? Seems like another teddy bear appeared. No. But that's no ordinary teddy bear. I can see it. The despair and madness swirling around that cursed thing. You're really bugging me. First of all, I'm no teddy bear. I'm Monokuma! And show some respect! I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles! Huh? Headmaster? Hmm? It appears to be some sort of autonomous robot with a built-in AI like me. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, but... The existals are different, though. They're brainless box with its a bolt. Right. They're pretty mindless killing machines that can only be controlled by us mama cubs. Sheesh. Autonomous robots piloting weapon platforms. This is certainly turning into quite the story. Actually. Well, that may be, but what I'm worried about is this killing game you mentioned. What exactly does it mean? <laughs> How? What is so amusing? And where did my left eye go? I can't seem to have found it. <laughs> it's just when I said, just when I said it before, it I just kind of phoned it in, and now I feel awkward. Extreme! I want you, I want you students with your ultimate level talents to participate in a killing game. Why is the pink colored one wearing a bra? Because. Killing game? Us? Please stop! Stop joking! Why would we agree to participate in a killing game? <laughs> you guys don't want to do it. Go to never do that? Of course not! Gentlemen not hurt people! And another thing. But if you looked around the academy, then you already know, don't you? This academy is surrounded by a huge wall. You can't escape the outside world. As long as we have the Existles, you can't defy us. In other words, I hold the power of life and death over each and every one of you. So unsure. So do what you say if we don't want to die. You gotta be kidding me! Why would friends kill each other? Oh? Oh? Who said you guys were friends? You guys aren't friends at all. <laughs> Your enemies out to kill each other. Huh? Enemies? We're enemies? Mm. I still have a lot to learn from father about sarcasm. <laughs> and that is guitar number five. All, the, all this song is, big, is bugging the shit out of me. I gotta beat up Monodam to relieve the stress. Hmm. But I don't like it. I'm not good with violence or gore in sad situations. Um, Daddy, instead of a killing game, could we do a rock, paper, scissors tournament instead? You stupid. Who'd want to play, play a game where no one dies? Hmm. Well... You do have a compassionate personality. It's so cute, I could barely stand it. You're so cute. <laughs> why, it's so why, it's cute enough to eat. Cute enough, I just want to eat it. Hey. Hey, Monophony, you might want to dial back on the cute, sh cute stick a bit. Just because you wake up in a school with a bunch of other ass assholes in Gunta, that doesn't mean you're all friends.
It means you gotta earn that friendship with Gunta. All right. Cool it with the stupid banter. I wanna ask you something. How are we supposed to kill each other? Are you gonna give us weapons? You? What the hell, man? What are you asking? Right. We need to get info from them first. We can't do anything we don't know anything. No way! Weapons, huh? What kind of barbaric display are you envisioning? You couldn't be more wrong. Why, the Academy for Achievement for Gifted... The Academy for Gifted Juveniles? Da, 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 da. The Killing Game is quite the refined, sophisticated experience. Sophisticated experience? Yeah. Yeah. Yes! Here the killing game is punctuated by class trials. Uh. Class trials? Okie dokie! Let us explain! Alright, so if one of you maggots kills someone, you all gotta take part in a class trial. Hooray! The class trial is where the blackened killer faces off against their spotless classmates. It's where you punk-ass bitches argue over who you fucking think the blackened is. Man, such a language. After that, it's voting time! And if the majority of you idiots vote correctly... Then only the blackened killer will receive p, -p punishment <laughs> So cruel. Just imagining all the bloody car makes me want to puke. After the blackened is punished, the rest of you will just keep right on living together. But if you vote for the wrong person during the class trial, the blackened gets off scot-free and all the spotless students get punished instead. Hell yeah! Them's the rules of the class trial! Woo-hoo-hoo! Oh! And there you have it. <laughs> too much? That X-Men should reveal too much! Breaking news, Monokuma has a tongue! Good afternoon, I'm Eagle Falcon, and this is the 4.43 p.m. news right here on the Twitch channel. We are following breaking news that Monokuma has a really long tongue. We're not sure what it means, but he also apparently sweats. Back to you, rest of the game. You gotta be more coy, flirtatious, seductive, just like your old man. Gross. Hey, um... The point is, it's not enough to kill someone. You also have to survive the class trial. How should I put this? Kill without being caught, and then survive the trial. Sounds eerily similar to the real world. You think so? Then the outside world must have a master... Must be masterly divined, even at its cruelest. Listen. No one can likely imagine, but I shall ask just in case. What is the punishment you mentioned earlier? Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Simply put, it's an execution! Huh? Execution? is a killing game so the punishment for murder is a bit more permanent insert texas joke here and we're done i wonder what kind of punishments there'll be lots of blood and guts and brains i bet oh the kind of stuff that gives me a raging boner and today I learned that Mono Kid apparently has a giant boner for guts. Yeah. What? Mono Kid, you already have a boner? Get a rock hard rager. <sighs> it is at this time I like to remind you that this is a 17 and upstream. <laughs> I'm so rock hard right now. Blood, guts, brain. Mm. 
Oh, goody, she pukes up. Glitter? I don't know. God, man. Whoa, Monof Whoa, Monophine just puked. Get a rock hard ranger! I'm so freaking hard! Yeah. Puke gives you a boner too? <laughs> Your kids are just adorable! What? The hell's cute about that? Well now. Alright, I'm over this boring exposition. Kills, chills, kills. It's definitely a different voice actor. I'm 70% positive. Let's get this heart pounding, killing school semester started already! You have free reign to murder however you like, too! Like bludgeoning or stabbing! Feeling cheap? Try strangulation! Feeling lazy? Try poisoning! Whether you shoot, burn, drown, blow up, crash, Electrocute or laugh your victim to death. You can use any method you like to kill anybody you like, any way you like. You can even set up a, a crazy elab elaborate luck be beast killing game involving killing yourself using fire grenades and trying to pin it on one random guy so that everyone dies. Yeah, it's gonna take a bit to get used to this voice. Yeah, we're going the Nagito route. Like I just mentioned. For gifted juveniles, you will realize your murderous potential. Sixteen talented teenage prodigies, all competing for first place in a killing game. <laughs> he's so hot. <laughs> Excuse me. He's so high pitched. He's almost at Mickey Mouse levels. Huh? <laughs> and before you get to kill someone. Oh my god, that that'd be interesting. But I doubt it. No better setting for an event like this than the Ultimate Academy. You got me. Killing school semester. It's like a game. <laughs> Risking our lives for some silly game is absurd. But it does seem like it'll be boring though. You know the first game did not have a Nagito, right? The closest the, the first game came to having a Nagito was, um... Byakuya, and even he wasn't that bad. I mean, he was a douche, but he wasn't, like, Nagito levels of just going, What a thrilling and heart-pounding story! And then what did you do? Such a prick. How can you DeGeneres be so calm? It can't be! This has to be a lie, right? It's a lie, right? A lie. More like fiction. Like a story on TV. A scenario so removed from reality, I can hardly believe it's happening. It's no use. I don't want to be in a killing game. It's wrong. I never do that. <laughs> Well, if you don't want to participate in the killing game, it's going to be a problem. Because the killing game's the only reason you're here. Huh? What? Now then. Unleash your horrific talents and have a happy, homicidal, horrific, hilarious killing game. Ah, oh, jeez. Wait just a minute. Oh. Hmm. Stop it. No matter what you say, we won't do it. Except for maybe crazy over there. He, she might do it. That's wrong. We'll never participate in a killing game. I'll do it. Whatever you have planned, I'm not gonna let you get away with it. Even though I just said I'll do it. Um. Kaede, you shouldn't just rash, rash, rashly defy that thing. That's nice. No, no, I welcome her resistance. That kind of. Defiant spirit is important to the killing game. It's fun to watch the defiant ones eventually snap and get their hands dirty. Uh, what do you mean by that? I love it. 
Everyone loves that kind of brutality in a death game, especially me! It never gets old. It's so fun. It's fun and entertaining that I just, uh, I just get unbearably pumped up. Plus. Plus, as the headmaster, it's my job to force you to do it. <laughs> God, it's so high pitched. It sounds like it's being phoned in. And I'm out of water. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. I am disappointed in you, Five. You're giving up. <laughs> and you go, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, bear puns. There's always been bear puns. We stood dumbfounded in silence, surrounded by the squealing fit laughter of Monokuma and his cubs. Everything about this situation was so messed up. An academy surrounded by a giant wall. Sixteen ultimate students trapped inside. Mysterious stuffed bears and deadly weapons. And newfound friends forced to play some killing game. It felt like something out of a sadistic work of fiction. A sadistic story no different from reality itself. And against my will, I was now a character in that story. Oh, here it is. Here's our opening theme. <laughs> Fucking robot. Yep, we're playing as a girl now. Good talk. <laughs> See an overruler with a thing of purple Fanta? She looked too happy there. I'm a little disappointed in that opening. I am just a little disappointed. Ultimate Revival. End. Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juvenile's Badge. Present obtained. I missed what the achievement said. Ultimate cold open. Okay, then. Yeah, I want to save. I think I'm going to stop here for now. No. There you go. Wait, so Z and... Yeah, we're going to stop here for now. And we will pick this up later tonight. So yeah, those of you watching the recorded version, next part will be up soon.